I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the concept of finding probability of non-mutually exclusive events. The question here is find the probability of turning up an odd number or a number greater than 3 when rolling a die. So what we have here is is a die right now as you know it has six faces so that's the kind of die we'll be working with it has six faces and therefore on each face we have numbers from one to six so in this particular case the outcome set is we can write down outcomes all the outcomes will be or we can say sample set or outcome set s is numbers from 1 to 6 right 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now what do we need the event which we are defining is probability of turning up an odd number or a number greater than 3 so there are two events so it is a compound event right so so it is a case of compound events we have more than one event so let's say event a so we'll define event a as as the event with odd numbers so odd numbers out of these are what odd numbers are one three and five so odd numbers are one three and five and uh, event b for us is number greater than 3 so event b is number greater than 3 that means uh, 456 456 now if you observe between event a and b we have common elements right so we have common elements this number 5 is common right so if you look into the sample set basically let me sketch here I want to take time and you know discuss this for with you so if we have the sample set s in this sample set event a and event b could be written like this where we find that 5 is common between these two events event a for us has value 1 and 3 apart from 5 right and event B has 4 and 6 as the values apart from 5 right and the value like 2 will be outside so that is how our elements are placed in the sample set now the question here is how to find probability of this compound event now clearly since there is a overlap this is a case of non mutually exclusive event right so we can write non mutually exclusive events is it okay now whenever such is a case we have to apply the principle of inclusion and exclusion right so that reminds us principle of exclusion and inclusion right okay so the idea is 5 is common so if I add these events then what happens in that case 5 gets added twice do you see that so what we have here is that the number of elements in A are 3 number of elements in B are also 3 however the number of elements in intersection of a and b which are common is one right therefore the total number of elements will be you have to add them and take away is one i'm sorry the number five but number of element is one is it okay so we have to add and subtract this correct so therefore in such case probability of both these events to happen which is a union b which are non mutually exclusive will be probability of a plus probability of b 
take away probability of a intersection b is it okay so that is how it is going to be so that is to say n of a over s of a plus number of elements in b over sample space right i mean i should write ns i'm sorry ns okay minus n of a intersection b over n of the sample space so that is to say 3 over 6 plus 3 over 6 take away 1 over 6 right so that gives us 3 plus 3 is 6 minus 1 so we have 5 over 6 as our result right so that is how we can find the probability of such a compound event which is non-exclusive the other simpler method was of course we can find in the union of a and b how many elements are there one two three four five and in the outcome set we have six elements so the probability for the given event let me call this event as e will be which is combination of these two will be 5 over 6 right so we could have done from here also however it is important to understand the method so whenever we have non mutually exclusive events we need to add the probability of each event and take away probability of intersection of the two so and all the best